Welcome to the 15th and final episode of the Basanagar YouTube channel's A Career Guidance mini series. Today we will be having another important topic which is your interview phases. There are three parts in this interview phase. The first part is the pre-interview phase. The second part is the interview phase. The third part is the post-interview phase. Now let us look at briefly what is comprises in the pre-interview stage. First of all, you need to prepare a rough draft for your resume and then re-look at the resume, see whether there are any spelling mistakes or grammatical errors, whether the formatting is done properly and then do a final draft, take a printout of it and then prepare yourself based on what you have written in the resume because questions will be based on what you write in the resume. Substantiate yourself in terms of what you are going to say with examples, real-time examples. Avoid giving any kind of fake or false information or raising the expectations of the employer by over doing whatever you are saying that you can do. Another thing is do a research on the company you are going to go and attend the interview for. Look at the job role, understand and research what the job role contains. Prepare yourself properly in these ways so that when you go for the interview, you will be well prepared on what you want to do and how you are going to project yourself. The resume is your reflection of you. So hence, this pre-interview stage is very, very important to confidently take up the interview part. The second part is the interview. Always be confident and have an eye contact with the people who are in interviewing you. There might be one person, two, three people, or there may be even five people. Always have an eye contact. Your body language shows much about what you can do and how confident you are. So the dress you wear, it has to be neatly attired. Today, we have both offline and online interviews. So if you are in an online interview, see that your net connections are proper, the background is proper, the image on the screen is there, it is clear. If it is an offline interview, ensure that you reach the venue punk on time or before time, I would suggest reach at least 15 to 20 minutes before you have the interview slot so that you can freshen up yourself, you can be remain calm and go confidently for the interview. And during the course of interview, never ever say anything which is bad about yourself. Highlight only what strengths you have and highlight how you can contribute to the particular job role. The third part is the post interview stage, wherein after you complete the interview, there is an exercise which you need to do. You need to write down what were the interview questions. You need to know how you answered, how it could have been done better or whether it was done correctly or not. Also write a thank you note to the employer saying that you have appreciate the uh, opportunity given for the interview and follow up for these interviews. It doesn't matter if you don't get the job, but always maintain this rapport with whichever company you're going for because one never knows when the next opportunity will come from the company. People generally tend to remember people who have been, you know, maintaining a rapport with them to recall them for the next opportunity. So post interview stage, this is another technique you can use. Also, if you find that during the interview, their resume has come up with some errors, ensure that you edit and correct these errors in the resume so that in your next interview, you will be much more prepared. May Mother Mary continue to intercede for you and God bless us all. And with this, we conclude the Career Guidance mini-series. God bless us all.